godfather. Michael Corleone assembles huge wealth using violence. But he never says he's a bad person. On the contrary, he thinks he is kind and compassionate. And when he has to punish somebody, he always says to the victim, you only have yourself to blame. While the Mafia is an extreme form of corporate crime, but the Godfather is a good metaphor of how modern corporations act and those who represent them in politics, the Conservative Party. Honourable gentleman was the city minister, the city minister during the libel scandal. And we know George Osborne is an interesting figure, the second most important person in the Conservative Party, and he seems to really believe in the Conservative ideology. It is quite well known that he took cocaine. There's rumours being that he's still on the drug, or if not, some other medication. It also came out that he would invite prostitutes to soothe his pains. So in other words, a conservative living, a very unconservative life. Uh, have been this raises many questions into understanding what the Conservative Party really is. I've got it. I took it home to show Samantha. <laughs> it's got 64 positions and none of them work. <laughs> that was a great speech yesterday, Boris. Fabulous speech. I, um, Boris, the tight head prop. I was, I was a hooker. Um, <laughs> and by the way, that is a factual statement, not a chapter of Michael Ashcroft's book. A lot of the people at the top of the party are good friends with each other. And when they were children, often went to the same school. David Cameron, Boris Johnson and Zach Goldsmith all went to Eton College, the elite of elites which Prince William and Prince Harry also attended. It presents itself to its own world as its own world likes best to think of it, as the preserve of the English ruling class and the force These of most These families often have links to the Tory party going back generations and have family members not just in influential positions in government, but also in influential positions in other areas, such as in the army or in finance. Top people from the same mould. The bishops, the ambassadors, the generals, the Tory cabinets, the landed gentry, and other blessings. Not all Tories went to Eton College, but for many of those who didn't, they went to the same university as the Eton boys. Oxford University, such as George Osborne, William Haig, Michael Gove, Theresa May. The Tories are almost like a clique of friends and if you're not already in, the door is locked, firmly shut for you. The membership of the Conservative Party is officially 150,000, slightly more than the 120,000 of SNP and far less than the 380,000 of Labour. Although it's not really 150,000, those might be the numbers of people who signed the application form. In reality, it's only 50 to 60,000 max who are actually active. When it came to the election for who would be the Tories candidate for London Mayor, the tiny size was exposed as only 9,200 voted to select the Tory candidate. Compare that to the 82,000 
who voted to select Labour's cabinet. And these members have less power than in any other party. They are just there to follow, clap and cheer their leaders, and when useful, to do all the dirty jobs for the party, like knocking on doors or handing out leaflets. You're familiar with the word mafia? <laughs> yes, Mr. Watson. Have you ever heard the term a murder? The mafia term they, that they use for the code of silence? Uh, I'm not an aficionado of such things. Would you agree that it means a group of people who are bound together by secrecy, who together pursue their group's business objectives with no regard for the law, using intimidation, corruption, and general criminality? I have, I have, I, again, I don't, I don't. I'm not in a general election, most voters will never sit in a room with a politician, but get the facts of who to vote for via newspapers and TV. Hence, newspaper owners have huge power in politics, and like in the Godfather film, they try to dominate everything. Rupert Murdoch meets regularly with Tory politicians, and there are rumours that he sits in negotiations with them to decide who should be the next Tory leader or who should be a minister in government. And with Rupert now ageing, his son James is taking over the family Any business. If they are proven to be so, to account. Mr Murdoch, you must be the first Mafia boss in history who didn't know he was running a criminal enterprise. Mr Watson, please. I think that's inappropriate, Mr Chairman. Conrad Black who were in the Daily Telegraph, didn't just meet with conservative politicians. He was one of them, as he was a Tory member of the House of Lords until he was sent to prison for six and a half years. Without losing my mind, becoming irrational, ceasing to be a penitent and reasonable person, and actually being able to endure a discussion like this without getting up and smashing your face in, which is what most people... In do. the 2015 general election, the official endorsements by newspapers in deciding between Labour or Conservative is a curious piece of information. Those who endorsed the Conservatives were Times, Daily Mail, Telegraph, Daily Express, The Sun, Daily Star, Metro, Evening Standard, Financial Times and The Independent. And those who endorsed Labour were Guardian and The Mirror. That's it. Daily Express owner Richard Desmond, who also owns Channel 5, shares the noble conservative value of modesty. You've been in my office, yeah. you've seen I've got the best office in London, you've seen I've got a, one of the best homes in London. Well, you've got your private lift up to it. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Let's just address some of those, those myths. Well, it's about my favourite subject, me, and it tells the story of from start from three years old to today. His conservative values are proven as he also owns two major pornography channels. Although his links to the Conservative Party are going through a bit of a rough patch as he recently decided to start supporting UKIP after a heavy bribe uh, I mean I mean donation of over a million to them and my waiter or what you call it the waiter the the, the, the bloke looks after me the butler the butler okay the, Man master, the raw the raw but the raw butler okay uh, donations are important in conservative internal democracy Heads of large corporations who donate get rewarded with friendship, drinks and dinner, and hence influence over the government. Normal working class, middle class conservative members just have to look on and accept it. The money usually comes from corporations inside the UK, but also sometimes from abroad, including Russia or Saudi Arabia. So basically, Anybody can buy influence over the UK government if 
they have enough money and are willing to invest it in the Conservative Party.